Good morning. It's Amber Griffiths here with your brand by design and it's cold. So I'm all bundled up and I'm coming to you live. And as I try to decide exactly what I wanted to share with you the most, I hope you don't mind, but I dug into a little bit of what I think you are thinking based on conversations you and I have had most recently, based on the stuff that I'm seeing on Facebook, based on the things that I'm hearing at networking events. And this is really what I wanted to share with you. I am becoming less concerned with what instruments you have and if you're showing up on stage, because I know you're showing up. I've seen you out there. I see you struggling. I see you on social media. I see you showing up at networking events. I see you booking events and flying all across the country to go to some event or another. Um, so that part becomes a little bit less concerning for me. I'm glad you're getting out there. You're putting shoes on, you're doing the work, you're showing up. I'm a little bit more concerned about what kind of instruments you've got on stage with you. I'm a little concerned that you walked onto this pre-prepared stage and instead of clearing it off and bringing on everything new, what I'm seeing is you're singing last year's songs that aren't even yours. I'm hearing somebody else's words come out of your mouth. I'm hearing your corporate, you know, if, if you're in direct sales, I'm hearing some line that your, um, that your upline told you, that your corporation told you. I'm hearing you repeat things that you've heard other people in your industry speak to. Your entrepreneurs, if you're in real estate, I would love to challenge you just for funsies. And I don't mean to pick on this particular industry. I just want to share this with you because I think no matter what industry you're in, this would apply to you. But I want you to try to introduce yourself without saying actually what you do. Don't say I'm a lender. Don't say I'm a realtor. Don't say I'm a massage therapist. Don't say I'm a web developer. I'm a photographer. Find a new way to introduce yourself that explains more what you create for people and less what your job description is. I heard once a coach told me, she said, if you become a noun, you become forgettable. And I think she might be right. If you tell me I'm a photographer, awesome. I know 10 photographers personally. I know if I Googled it, if I got onto Facebook and said, hey, can I find a photographer? I know there'd be 30 of them, more. I wanna know why you're special. I want to know why you're amazing. I want to know what you specifically can do for me specifically. So if you're taking, if you're going out on stage, what song are you singing? Is it yours? Is it your lyrics? Are they, is it in your key? Now let's talk about the instruments you've got going on. I'm, I want to make sure that if you, good morning, Diane, nice to see you. I'm, I want to make sure that if you're going to have a keyboard on stage with you, that it's the best possible keyboard, that it's all in tune, that it's not some child's xylophone with plastic mallets, and you're trying to deliver this amazing concert, and you've got Tinker Toys backing you up. I'm more concerned about that than you actually showing up. I know you wanna show up, and I, I know that the desire's there. I've heard your visions, I've heard your declarations of, this is gonna be the best year ever. I'm really worried, I wanna make sure that you have the support that you need. I want to make sure that this is the year you're 100% you. That everything you do is about you. That is your genius, your voice, your story being delivered directly to your ideal clients, your biggest fans. They're there waiting. That I will guarantee and to you. You're showing up at these networking events and there are people that are waiting for you to just open your mouth and speak. And if what comes out is, I'm a noun, you've lost that opportunity. If what comes out is, I create this amazing thing for these people, there will be people in the room who go, oh, that's me, that's me. I can't wait, I can't believe I get to meet this person. I'm so excited, I'm, I'm so, this is why I came to this event. This is why I put on shoes is to hear you speak. That's, I want that for you so badly this year. I know 2019, it's, it's the third day of the year, there are, tons of opportunities to say something incredible and to meet someone incredible. I would challenge you to tune up all of your instruments, make sure they are high end, make sure they are yours. Even if it's an old acoustic guitar, 
make sure that it's yours. Make sure that you get to play your song on it. I, I think that really is my biggest fear, is that you're showing up with all these new dreams and you're using all the old tools. If it still works for you, awesome. Keep doing it. Are you sure it works for you though? Have you taken 10 seconds to make sure? Just, that's, I guess that's my challenge. That's my biggest challenge for you today is take a look through your brand and make sure it's all working for you the way you think it is. Make sure that if you're sending out a newsletter, is it still serving you the way it should? Do you need to edit it? Do you need to make changes to it? Um, do you need to update your database? Do you need to have people choose in and out? If you are going to networking events, are they still your people there? Are you delivering a message that really engages and inspires your idle client? Or are you just saying I'm a noun? If you have any questions about that, and sometimes, bottom line, it takes an outside professional perspective to really take a look at every single piece of your brand, every single portion of your marketing, every single portion of your voice, your message, your all of it, and see what's working and what's not. Here's the really great opportunity as well. If you lay it all, all out and say, here's, let's say 20 pieces. Here's the 20 things I do to build my business. Here's the 20 pieces of my brand, my logo, my business cards, my email signatures, my social media, my website, blah, 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 blah. Here's the 20 pieces. It's entirely possible that at least three of them don't serve you. It's entirely possible that at least four of them need to be tweaked slightly. And it's entirely possible that if you were, there's a couple of holes. And if you were to find, if you lay it all out and say, there's a spot, there's a spot and tweak it just slightly or create something brand new, you are going to make a massive, massive impact on your business and on the people around you. I would love to support you in that. If you would like some more information on how to get that done, I would encourage you to just drop sound check in the, in the comments below. Sound check. That's where we lay everything out, make sure everything's in tune, make sure everything's up to date, make sure everything's perfect, and really set yourself up to achieve those goals you've created for this year. I cannot wait to hear from you. Write sound check in the bottom. And by the way, if you're not getting my backstage pass, you really should be. So if you want to be receiving that twice a month, drop backstage pass in the comments. I cannot wait to connect with you this year. Make it Make it the best year ever, but really set yourself up for that kind of success. I cannot wait to hear from you, and until then, rock on.